Welcome to Burnside Highlights. Our focus this week is on activism against gender-based violence. Until Sunday 10th of December, we have various displays within the Burnside Civic Centre for the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence in collaboration with the Zonta Club of Adelaide. As part of these displays, 57 pairs of orange shoes can be seen here in the library, with each pair representing a woman killed in Australia by a domestic partner in 2022. I'm now standing in the new youth space at the front of the uh, library entry, uh, a wonderful new space created for young people. The City of Burnside has undertaken a review of the draft 2023 to 2030 strategic community plan and the draft environmental sustainability strategy 23 to 27. And we want to hear your thoughts on these. Find out more and have your say before 5 p.m. on Wednesday the 20th of December at the website below. These are our lighthouses that will guide our council's decision making. So make yourself seen and heard. We were not able to reopen the Conningham Street dog park last Saturday because of the weather. Keep your eyes alert to a new date being set for this. We did successfully open the Dulwich Community Centre and look out for some great programs returning such as Mashindo Karate that has been teaching there for 23 years and for new programs featuring Dizzy Izzy that will focus on well-being for adults and small children. Do you own a business that offers a service or speciality that could benefit businesses in Adelaide's eastern region? Campbell Town City Council is seeking expressions of interest for qualified business advisors to support the delivery of a new small business advisory service to be launched in 2024. If you'd like to mentor small businesses with one-on-one -on -one advice, please apply to be considered at the website below. Did you know that our largest group of people in Burnside are aged between 12 and 19 years of age? Hence, a good place to be filming this morning. Look out for school holiday programs at all of our centres as we get nearer to this time and check out movie times at the Regal, activities in our library and other community centres and pool opening times at the George Bolton Swimming Centre and of course, Tusmore Park. Should voting in council elections be compulsory? The South Australian Government's Office of Local Government is conducting a statewide review that will focus on council elections and community participation, including improving people's engagement with councils, increasing the number and diversity of council members and increasing voter turnout. You can provide your opinions to the State Government by doing the online survey. It's easy to do, so have your say until the 1st of March next year, so you've got a long time, but do it now. The outcomes of the consultation will be published in May of next year. It is really important because we only get about 30% of people vote in our local government elections. Here in the customer service area, there is the annual fabulous wood turning product exhibition to be enjoyed. And of course, along with the little treasures up at Pepper Street, these are great places to buy unique Christmas gifts. So the wood, Northern Wood Turners exhibition is on right over the Christmas break you should be receiving your focus newsletter from this week. So look at the articles about Burnside's green future and our carbon offset scheme work up at Kapunda that is featured on the front page. Last night, I switched on the Christmas lights in front of the Civic Centre and there are two sessions of carols in the library and a place for leaving gifts there for those who need help this Christmas. Finally, I'm really looking forward to next Friday, the 8th of December and carols in the park. Enjoy the week and I will see you again one more time before the Christmas break.